What we have right now is our responsibility. It's our responsibility to ensure that we don't go and screw this up so that in 15 years or 20 years or 50 years, people are looking at us saying, Why, how did you let that happen? It's premature for any reasonable person to formulate an opinion on whether or not this project benefits outweigh the risks. We have to ask ourselves uh, whether it's worth the risk. No, no, no. no not, not no. Not just no, but hell no. Bristol Bay's backbone is sand. In some places you just have to say no, that the risks are too high, that we can't engineer, we can't mitigate our way out of the mess that we're about to create. What do we got to think? We got to conquer everything and kill it and destroy it and beat it to death? Open pit mining ruins watersheds. There's never been a mine of this size and this type that's ever been built in such sensitive fish habitat. There is a conventional wisdom uh, that ecosystems are fragile. And conventional wisdom, in my experience, is typically conventional, but not always wise. I think we could have the first really successful open pit mine in the world. It's, it's like you could sit here and have nothing or you can have everything. For the communities in this area to survive, we need an economic opportunity. Commercial fishing doesn't cut it anymore. We think we're all millionaires. <laughs> we think we're the richest people on earth. <laughs> you know, it's just a matter of mind state. If you're a broke fisherman and you can see the beauty in everything, you've got a wonderful life. Let us finish investing our hundreds of millions of dollars on the studies and the project design, present that empirical data to the agencies and to the public and all the stakeholders, and let the data speak for itself.